In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the sail concept out of the tight slots halfback week formation. If you're looking to uh, get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, we're dropping an updated version of it into our Patreon uh, today. The link's going to be in the description if you want to check out the Patreon membership. Ten bucks gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So why is tight slots so good? A couple of different reasons. Number one, it's really good against man. Number two. It has every route that you need to be successful and create different concepts for your passing offense. Now, my recommendation is to actually come out in the bunch formation, and we're going to audible into the tight slots. Now, I'm running the tight slots right now out of the Colts playbook. Um, the ebook that I'm releasing on tight slots is going to actually be out of the Bengals playbook because they do have one play uh, that this formation doesn't. But basically, what I like to do from an audible perspective, we're going to set flood. We're going to set bench so that we have corner routes on both sides. We have verticals, mesh spot. That's what I like to have here. Um, if you have hot route master or slot apprentices, it makes it even easier. But basically, you want to come out and bunch an audible to tight slots. That's the best way to run it uh, for a lot of different reasons. But basically, it's going to ensure that you're going to create mismatches and they're going to have to basically kind of adjust to you, if you will. So why is tight slots, why, why is why is sale uh, such a good concept? It's really good for zone. Um, it's not bad against men, but it's really good for zone. So if you're getting a lot of zone, this is a concept that I would recommend that you run. A sale concept essentially is a deep vertical route from the outside receiver, which in this case is going to be Michael Thomas, a, a, uh, a corner route from the slot receiver, which in this case is going to be Herman Moore. This can also be a uh, a shorter corner if you want to run like a deep out route that's actually more so what the sale is um, and then on the back side what we're going to run is we're going to run an out route to the tight end and we're going to run a either smart routed in route to cd lamb or we're going to run a post route to cd lamb i like to motion lamb out to just create some space over here for the concept what you're going to notice is this uh, sale play is super effective whether it's an out route or a corner route is really up to you honestly um it's gonna both of those routes are gonna do pretty decent against man to man and they're also gonna do pretty decent against zone coverage so again streak the left receiver i like to post cd lamb if i can you can leave kittle on this little drag or put him on an in route if you wanted to but I really like the out route because it spaces the field, allows me to tack the flats. If they're playing hard flats on both sides of the field, my recommendation would be to then take him and put him on an in route and motion this guy across just like this. What you're going to see against man coverage, corner routes, super good against man. In fact, tight slots has probably the best corner routes for attacking man coverage in the game, uh, my opinion. Very good corner routes for attacking uh, man to man. Now let's say that they're playing man coverage, but they're um, you know they're kind of you know adjusting to you a little bit, so they're going to drop some zones over here to the left side. If they're not careful, if you have the short out elite ability, and I've talked about this a little bit before, if they're not careful and you do have the short out elite on Michael Thomas, what you'll notice is if they press you and there's no safety help, a lot of times it's going to be a, a potential touchdown over the top right there where we get the ball off. But a lot of times it's going to be you know a potential one play score. So that's just something that you know I want you to think about because again if they if they are for whatever reason. You know, you always want to look on your reads. Whenever you're reading a play, you always want to read deep to shallow. So if the deep route is open, right, if he clears it, then you want to take that shot, you know, deep downfield, as you can see right there, and put the ball where only your receiver can catch it by free forming and high balling it upfield. So you see there that this is a great way for us to attack press man. And what it does is it forces them to have to have a zone over on the left side to take the clear out. So now it's just less, it's less people they can have in the middle of the field, you know, so they're going to have to take their user and they're going to have to go to the, go to the corner route. If that is the case and it's man coverage, a lot of times this tight end out route can actually be pretty decent against man. So keep that in mind. The tight end out route is at least a, a quick read for you. Uh, and then of course, uh, I'll show you right here. If they're devoting a lot of resources over here to the left side, then what you should be able to do, especially if they have to go use of the crosser is you should be able then to hit your, little um your little uh, hot master post or your or your um whatever it's called your your post or your um your dig you can hit either one of those over the middle of the field so again i think this this play uh really spaces the field well now back to zone for just a second what you're going to get in zone 
We're going to talk about match, of course, in a minute. What you're going to get against zone here is, again, this is just going to space out zones really well. So if there, you have hard flats there, you also have that read right there over the middle that's super underrated. So again, if the, vac if the middle field opens up, this is why I like the tight end out route because the tight end out route is going to literally open the middle of the field up for you to be able to attack it. So if they're double flatting, which is actually a very popular thing right now uh, in the current meta, the whole middle of the field starts to become open because they may still have to go guard that corner route because of how good it is. But then what you're able to do is you're able to step up. You see, okay, the middle field's open, and I can take that read right there. So this plays super high level and able to attack the defense in a variety of different ways. Now, the one defense that I think actually does a decent job against this just stock is match coverage. And you will get some match coverage if you run this play. Because what happens is the way match coverage plays this, you're going to notice they play it fairly similarly uh, to gun bunch. And so what you'll see here is this, this corner round on the left is going to get covered by the match coverage. The easiest way to counter this, um, honestly, the easiest way to counter this is if they are running match coverage on you. Now, I'll show you something you can do from a check down perspective, and then we'll show you how to actually counter it from the actual route combo. So let's say that they're, again, they're running match coverage, and, you know, you guess wrong, and they happen to be in match coverage. Number one, your running back should be wide open. Number two, that route over the middle of the field has a pretty good chance at winning as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you, though, is if they are running match coverage, one of the things you can do with this is a simple motion trick. So we're still going to put CDVM on either a post route or in route. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to motion Michael Thomas out and put him on a streak. By this simple motion out trick, it's going to basically just manipulate match coverage a lot, and you'll either be able to hit CD Lamb or you'll be able to hit that corner right on the sideline just like normal. So there's some easy opportunities when it comes to match. Uh, another thing that you can do, if you start to know that this is a theme, that they're running a lot of match, if you put Michael Thomas on a fade, sometimes it dumbs out the match coverage, and you might even have a touchdown. Uh, you can also ag, you can also high point this corner route against match, which I'll show you that real quick. You can also high point this corner route against match coverage, and he'll basically kind of cut it off. So if you are just completely out leveraged, really what you can do here is you can high ball and kind of ag it and come back to the ball a little bit, give yourself a chance. So at least you're not going to, that way you're not going to throw interceptions. But match coverage to me defends this the best from the from the, the left side. If you run it to the right side, it's going to be a little bit different of a story, which we'll cover in a different video. But what you'll see here, again, if I motion this guy out, a lot of times what will happen is you can freeform that down and outside, and you see you get that catch animation right there. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Tight Slots Halfback Week Offensive eBook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 gets you access to all of my Man23 Offensive and Defensive eBooks. So make sure to go down to the description and check out the Patreon page.